what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here since i'm about scream 6 in this video here again today i know i just uploaded a scream 6 video earlier but we have to talk about this new cast member that i discovered shout out to you joey because you tipped me off about this information and said cast member gave us a better look at what is more than likely again going to end up being the official title of scream 6 because it's following in the same beats of what happened with scream 5 which you know had the working title of parkside alpha we saw a chair with the title on it it was just scream just like how we saw a chair with the title on it, it had scream it looked like two two exclamation marks or some people think there's two slashes or roman numerals something like that but to jump into who the cast member is thomas kadrot or kadrot or however you pronounce it thomas is the latest cast member that will be starring in scream 6 how do we know this well this individual has taken it upon himself to share it on his instagram page he shared it a couple weeks ago in like mid-july and no one really picked up on this i guess or if i'm late to the party you can let me know also down in the comment section but he shared an image of the clapperboard that they're using for scream 6 which is again giving off an even better clearer visual of what the title most likely will end up being so here comes the post of what he shared over on instagram he shared this image where he again highlighted the fact that he's in montreal which you know is where scream 6 is shooting he literally puts the caption this week was killer he has the scream 6 release date there so again he is an actor and he is starring in scream 6 i'll talk about what i think his role will be in a second but again look at the clapperboard it matches up with what we saw on the back of the chair from melissa barrera's melissa barrera's husband's instagram story so scream 6 looks like it is going to end up being titled scream with two exclamation marks and those are not roman numerals uh and if you want to have some more evidence that he's in the movie he was basically hyping it up all throughout the comment section if you read some of the replies on this post but this title i know might be a little bit disappointing to some people i am a little bit indifferent about it i just want a good movie you know these titles and what we have I, i'm i'm numb to it by now with titles like halloween kills halloween ends I, i'm numb to it so with this being the official title i'm fine with it what do you guys think about it and that's also not to say that they can't change it and ultimately decide to go with scream six because this might not be the official title i just want to throw that out there uh most likely what will happen is just like how when scream five's production wrapped we'll get something from kevin williamson or somebody else to announce that production has wrapped and we'll get the official title announced along with maybe a behind the scenes image of them wrapping production and they'll talk about and hype up the upcoming release of march 31st 2023 so who is thomas going to be playing in the movie no idea of course who that is because they're doing a much better job of being secretive and tight-lipped and keeping things under lock and key for the most part as opposed to where a lot of us went into screen five pretty much knowing the movie front and back because of the fact that a lot of the movie was shot in order and all these other things that were leaking online so a lot of us also somehow managed to still be uninformed or misinformed about it so shout out to those of you who actually went into scream 5 uh, as clueless as you could but scream 6 is doing a much better job at hiding things so i don't know who thomas could be playing but he could be playing two things in my head I'm thinking maybe he is going to end up somehow being related to the Meeks siblings, and this will be Chad and Mindy's father. Uh, that's always a possibility. He could end up being someone that is on the NYPD, since we know Scream 6 is set in NYPD. Or, or I meant to say New York, set in New York. So, of course, the NYPD will come into play somehow. And we know that DeMar, DeMar Moroni is like the only official cop that we have so far in the movie. So... They're going to have to have some other cops in the movie, I would imagine, just like if we had other cops in Screen 5. So, honestly, he could end up being a very minor role, uh, and that's why you haven't heard him be announced or anything like that. He probably has a role that is similar to what you've seen in the past with other smaller cop roles, like what we had in Scream 2 with the secret service like people i think is how they refer to in screen to the people that were protecting sydney and watching over her so you could have something like that going on with thomas and that's probably why he didn't get an announcement he could be a cop someone living in new york could be Jermont Moroni's partner uh depending on what we again see from the nypd and how they're depicted in this movie he could be doing that or if he somehow ends up being chad and mindy's father maybe we're about to meet chad and mindy's father or maybe he's related to someone else in the movie or maybe he's not related to anyone and he'll just be a random minor character who comes and goes but given that he didn't get an announcement he might be on the same level of a hoss 
and Perkins from Scream 4. Or just like, again, those two those two detectives that are supposed to be watching over Sydney in Scream 2. Someone who is there and you maybe see him a lot, but they don't really have much significance to the overall story as opposed to the other people. They'll just be someone who pops up shares a few bits of dialogue here and there but their overall contributions to the narrative won't really make a difference whether they're here or not but they'll just be a person starring in the movie as a minor character uh as far as again that title that title i know again is something that not many people might be a fan of again maybe it's not the official title but again going off of that clapperboard i it's it's i don't think they do this but they might do it and if they do it you can let me know in the comment section recently i don't recall the production clapperboard i've seen of a movie coming out where the clapperboard had a title that in, that did not end up being the actual title unless they were going with the working title on the clapperboard which we know the working title of this movie is blackmore we've seen no signs of them using anything with blackmore on the set before we started seeing blackmore university stuff pop up since we know that the working title has something to do with the name of the school these kids are going to in the movie so with the back of the chair saying scream now visibly with what we can say now is two exclamation marks and not two roman numerals or anything like that with that and this much clearer visual of a clapper board from someone starring in the movie with the two exclamation marks seems like that's what the title will end up being it won't be scream six it'll be scream with two exclamation marks and if they decide to do scream seven i don't want it to be scream within three exclamation marks i would much prefer a film title of scream the final cut or scream final cut something that's in reference to what scream 3 ultimately was supposed to be for this series when it was originally intended to be a trilogy i would much rather prefer that versus having a final film titled scream with three exclamation marks after it they can do that if they want to i just would ditch it after this because i already know some people are not going to be a fan of that let me know what you guys think thomas will be doing in scream 6 down in the comment section below uh do you think he'll be part of the nypd and just be a minor character of course if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification you can never miss a video in the description i'll have links to all my social media accounts on my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video